Well, you're right. There isn't a lot of civility these days, and there's not a lot on campus. I know you're a professor, and you go out, and you're an alternative voice on college campuses. Uh, I'm, we're going to play you a soundbite from uh, Candace Owens, who is the communications director for Turning Point USA. She was yeah. at UCLA uh, in the last couple of days, and she was confronting some Black Lives Matter protesters, and she had a point for them. Listen to this, and then we want to get your point of view. Sure. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, which, by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize, you utilize their history. You're not living through anything right now. You're overly privileged Americans. You're overly privileged mm -hmm. Americans, she said that. And then uh, a few hours or a day or two later, Kanye West, the uh, singer, the artist, tweeted this out. I love the way Candace Owens thinks. And then now he's taking a lot of heat because he's supporting somebody who's from the political right. What did you make of what she had to say? Well, I think that Candace is is commenting about the danger of adopting a victimize, victimization oppressor narrative. And it's it's a narrative that the hard left has really been pushing. And ever since Marx, of course, that the world is composed of those who are victimized and those who are the oppressors, and everyone successful is an oppressor, and everyone else is a moral victim, like a, a morally acting victim. And it's a very, very dangerous narrative, and it's certainly one that's unbelievably widespread on university campuses. To look at the world that way, to look at the world through a group identity lens, is re remote, mm -hmm. puts us back in a tribal situation and will produce conflict. It has throughout the 20th century. And so Candace is is objecting to that, and rightly so. It's an unbelievably pernicious ideology, and the universities are to blame for distributing it in large part. It's mm -hmm. really appalling and dangerous. Well, when you look at just politics in general, uh, during the last election cycle back in 2016, the Democrats did adopt a very strong ident uh, uh, identity politics program, and, you know, all the postmortems had said that really didn't work. So it will be interesting to see what the Democrats do going forward. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the right-wingers, the conservative types like Candace have to tell a better story than the Democrats, and the story's got to be, on well, this goes for centrist liberals, too, the story has to be that, you know, there's obviously racial differences and ethnic differences yep. and gender differences and all of that, and, and some of that manifests itself in terms of prejudice, but the fundamental issue is that we've already always regarded the individual as the measure in the West, and that's the best idea the world's ever had. And if we lose that, then it's going to be catastrophic. So everyone should be pushing against that, whether they're on the right or the left, if they have any sense. And the moderate left needs to dissociate themselves from the radical left, and this is something they refuse to do. It's conceptually difficult to do it, but it's a moral imperative.